Iowa Catholic Radio presents the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines. Father Joseph Pins, Pastor. Father John Broby, Associate Pastor. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to participate in this sacred celebration. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Now we go to the celebration of the Word. A reading from the book of Job. Job opened his mouth and cursed his day. Job spoke out and said, Perish the day on which I was born, the night when they said, The child is a boy. Why did I not perish at birth, come forth from the womb and expire? Or why was I not buried away like an untimely birth, like babies that have never seen the light? Wherefore did the knees receive me, or why did I suck at the breasts? For then I should have lain down and been tranquil. Had I slept, I should then have been at rest. With kings and counselors of the earth, who built where now there are ruins, or with princes who had gold and filled their houses with silver. There the wicked cease from troubling. There the weary are at rest. Why is light given to the toilers and life to the bitter in spirit? They wait for death and it comes not. They search for it rather than for hidden treasures. Rejoice in it exultingly and are glad when they reach the grave. Those whose path is hidden from them and whom God has hemmed in. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. O Lord, my God, by day I cry out, at night I clamor in your presence. Let my prayer come before you, incline your ear to my call for help. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. For my soul is surfeited with troubles, and my life draws near in the netherworld. I am numbered with those who go down into the pit. I am a man without strength. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. My couch is among the dead, like the slain who lie in the grave, whom you remember no longer, and who are cut off from your care. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. You have plunged me into the bottom of the pit, into the dark abyss. Upon me your wrath lies heavy. And with all your billows, you overwhelm me. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When the days for Jesus to be taken up were fulfilled, he resolutely determined to journey to Jerusalem. And he sent messengers ahead of him. On the way, they entered a Samaritan village to prepare for his reception there. But they would not welcome him because the destination of his journey was Jerusalem. When the disciples James and John saw this, they asked, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to consume them? Jesus turned and rebuked them, and they journeyed to another village. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord. 
Let's ask the Spirit again to dwell in our hearts, to guide and lead us, that the words that are spoken of Him bear fruit, and that those that are not of Him are cast aside and forgotten. And St. Therese, the child of Jesus, pray for us. Yesterday was about grace. Today is about mercy and love and forgiveness. As we see in the Gospel, James and John, the sons of thunder, wanted to cast down fire from heaven to consume the Samaritan village. Where they get that is from Ezekiel and Elijah, who also called down fire from heaven to consume people. But Jesus rebukes them kind of doesn't even focus, doesn't even think about what the Samaritans are doing, rejecting him, basically forgives them. And I think he's asking the disciples to do the same. Sometimes I wonder... And I think I've seen this in The Chosen, if you've ever seen The Chosen. Jesus is outside of a a house with his mother Mary, and he's talking to her, and he's like, are they ever going to get it? And sometimes I wonder if he thinks that, and thinks that of us. Are we ever going to get it? You know, Jesus is on His way to Jerusalem to be crucified. To die for us. All loving, all forgiving, all merciful to us. Because a lot of times... We are like James and John, wanting God to bring down fire on our, on the people we struggle with. But He wants us to have mercy on them, to forgive them, just as He did and does for us. What it comes to mind is the Our Father. When we pray the Our Father, we say, forgive us of our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. That's hard to say if we really, really go deep into our hearts Are we forgiving those people? Because that's what we're asking God to do, to forgive us as we forgive those. In all of that, He still has mercy on us. He still loves us, still wants us to come to Him. And I see in Job, it's this morning, he, he's basically saying, why was I born? And I think sometimes we get to that point too. Why are we here? We come down on ourselves for our sins. We can't forgive ourselves either sometimes. We need to take it all to the cross, take it all to Jesus, 
and his mercy will abound around us and in us. What a loving, merciful, gracious God we have. Let us offer our prayers for the needs of the world for, to our merciful Father. For the church in her work <clears throat> building the kingdom of God on earth, may the Holy Spirit continue to bless and protect her in her mission. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear For elected officials, may the Lord instill in them a sense of leadership to protect the most vulnerable in our society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For all who struggle with chronic pain, May the Lord bring them healing and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. For those of us gathered here, may God guide us in wisdom to a greater sense of what he is calling us to in our vocation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. For all who have died in the peace of Christ, may the Lord welcome them into his heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For any special intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for all those who've been affected by the Hurricane Alina that the faith and love of God flows through them communities to heal, comfort, and soothe. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we ask that you hear our prayers and answer them according to your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan 
and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. You've been listening to the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines on the Iowa Catholic Radio Network.